Morning! The sun's shining for once. I mean, the grass is like, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but it's like sparkling at us. Um, hello anyway, and welcome to our channel. Thanks for clicking on, on this video. Um, just me and Andy in today. So my dad's gone out for the day. We're gonna be a little bit busy. Um, hopefully, if the weather stays like this, we might get some drilling done later this afternoon. But, you know, we've not been lucky, that lucky so far, but we'll see what happens. So we're just getting to the shed. And my first job is to get on the TM. Um, start feeding out. I'm gonna get the mix going because we are gonna run out of uh, feed this morning. So just filling up the troughs now. The MX bucket. I don't know when there's new ones coming. I think that should uh, should be here with us soon, really. We'll see about that. And now I've just used up all the meal. It's in the bucket, so we'll get this mix tipped off so we've got plenty to finish off this morning. So I've jumped in the 210. I thought we might as well show you how we work the mixer. So all the controls work on hydraulics. We've got a pump and keep that in constant pumping so the oil's flowing round and then we use this to push out oh that way push out that side and then this button turns on the floor this one here opens the door and then that one will close it so we'll get it spewed out. And he's on it. Morning Andy. Morning. You all right? Yeah, yeah. You? Yeah, okay, thanks. Did you get looking at vehicles? Yeah, but no, but no, but yeah. No. You didn't, not, you, not you didn't buy the rolls then? <laughs> is it the Bentley next, no. is it? Yeah. Yeah? No, they didn't have it in. Bentley Bartega? Yeah. yeah. Sales director or whatever, and took it home for the weekend. All oh, right. And it's like he goes and look at a car, and it's like, well, what's the point of advertising a car if it's not there? It's not actually there. Yeah, so I wasn't very happy to be honest. To be honest, I sort of stiffering to the point whether to actually email like the company and uh, say. Yeah. Oh, Andy's complaints. Yeah. Get it's ready, Andy's a, Andy's complaints. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's annoying, isn't it? And there's only like a few in the country. And it's like. Yeah. Have it on site if you're going to advertise it. Yeah. It's amazing. There ain't actually that many of them Bentley Bartagas, is it? <laughs> it's crazy. Isn't it? As if they took it home. I'll let Andy in the pens now. Hopefully, Baldy's not in the way. Here we go. It looks fairly clean in here anyway, but we can always top them up. Oh, and he's here, look. Come on, out my way. Started licking me already, aren't you, mate? Come on, come on, come on, you daft it. You're a pain, aren't you? And he's doing the outside now. How come engines turned off, Andy? How come the engines turned off? <laughs> Back on. It's coffee time. Oh, how unlucky is that, eh? Let's not tell Andy. Me and Andy have had our tea, coffee. Um, you might have to check the video a bit later, Andy. Yeah. If you thought your tea were nice. Ooh, it tasted good. <laughs> good. So this is the first time I've used the spreader bale since we fixed it. Oh, and it's working like an absolute beast. Loads of power now. Yeah, we're just getting down to the last. Yeah, we're just getting down to the last bit of the bale. Look at them rotors just spinning around super speed. And it even takes them a long time to slow down. It's amazing when you get machines working right and you actually get bearings in it that are not smashed works perfect <laughs> so we're back in this shed now that I've just been in with the 
spread about. We're going to get a few cows out. There's a really fit heifer in here. Um, it's getting fat that wants to go. So it's got a nice Jersey Cross Angus heifer there. Got a few out now, so we'll just put these through the crush. So we're just sending these guys up. Nobody has to be stood at the crush. Me and Andy can send them up. Automatically shut the back door. Boom. We've got one in. Just going to get a few out from in here now. Andy's wanting to get Baldy out. No, you're stopping for a bit longer, mate. You will be going, though. You're not a pet. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's a pain, isn't it? Come on. I'll push you in. So Andy's just doing a bit of a mix now, getting that ready. And I'm just going to go and spray a few of the weeds with the knapsack sprayer. Here we have weed decimation cam. Get all these killed off. I think we've got two kestrels in the barn nesting. So just been making a hell of a racket on there. Then both flown out. Oh, that's nice. Back out again. The other one's uh, just circling now. Well, that's a case. Look at all the spiders in here. It's literally full of them. It'd be somebody's nightmare. They're everywhere. Isn't that supposed to be a good sign? If you've got lots of spiders. So I've just had a walk up here. All the barley is heading now. Andy's just up there doing a bit of tidying around. And the view is really good today and clear. Yeah, it's hybrid barley that we've got in here and oh my god does it look tremendous it's really tall so hybrid barley it's got more than I don't know what they call them like the um six sides has it got to it whereas normal barley i just has two lines of head of seeds these have got like six or five or six i can't remember, quite remember but um it just grows with such vigor so tall, looking so strong. Really just out competing everything. Um, we've never really been big on growing hybrid barley because it's, yeah, it's more of a, I don't know, it's more expensive for seed and bits and bobs like that, but I can't see us not growing it next time if it has results like it's looking like it's going to get results. Um, yeah, smashing crop, smashing. Me and Andy are just going to have a little bit of a tidy up around the Weybridge because I've got um, I've got a ditch to dig from there up to the uh, up to the end of the drive, and so I need to go through all this white stone here. So I think we're going to put that on the trailer just to get it out of the way and um, take it from there. So soon it'll be one of my favourite jobs, digger jobs. we uh, be digging a, a big trench for a little cable, but um, it'll be fun. So I think we'll have to move Andy's car out of the way and get that into there. My mum's talking about putting this on and around the house. Uh, I'm not sure if it works or not. It's just like, I think it's limestone that you use for draining. Will it work? I don't know. Or will it discolour and go all green? I think it might discolour and go green, personally. So me and Andy were moving these chippings and they've moved now from here. But what we could have done is we could have moved them here, where Andy usually parks his car. But Andy's response was... Where am I going to park? Where is he going to park his car? There's plenty of places to park, but not safely. There's a, there's a place there where he parks his car. There's like over there, 
There's like the thing about living on a farm, Andy, is we, we have plenty of spare. I see what everybody's like at driving around here. That's the problem. <laughs> you looked at a few of the things around here, I've been knocked oh, about. Oh, where am I going to park my car? It's great. Me and Andy are just feeding out now. He's going to do a mix in a second. Really ought to take these girders down so they're all one level, but um, my dad thought that we might use them again sometime in the future, maybe. Probably not, never. <laughs> They've always been left long. Andy is just putting the barley into the mixer. This must be his last bucket. Yeah, it must be. It's all like spewing out of the top. Job done. Andy's busy with the wax on, wax off. Oh, wax on, wax off, Andy! Gonna take your pipes off. So, me and Andy have done the feeding up now. We're just gonna head up to the digger. Um, just check it over, check the levels, grease it round, and um, just make sure it's ready for work. Make sure it starts as well, actually, is a good point. And then, um, when we do get half a day to dig the trench across there to the end of the drive, we're, uh, we're ready to go. Andy's been round with the grease gun. I've checked the oil and the water and the diesel. It's got all them. Put the isolator out, it, um, isolator on, that's what I mean. And put the key in, but I've not tried it. So what do you think then, Andy? Should go. I reckon she'll go. She's a Zuzu engine. It's definitely gonna go. Right, let's get in here. It's a bit mucky at windows, but get ready. I don't think we'll need heat, will we? She's warm enough today. One, two, three. Absolute beast, it's like a dream. Like we just had it turned on. So that's about it. We've got everything in the shed. Uh, drill's been took back because they're going to um, do a bit of maze drilling on some sand land, which will have dried out a little bit better. Um, didn't mention that. They took it home um, earlier this morning. So I'll just get in mix of engines. It is uh, good luck to Seth Dunwell with his sats coming up and to everybody else who are doing sats at the minute. You're going to smash it. Um, also, happy birthday to Gavin Adshead, who is 44 today. So, happy birthday, Gavin. Thank you very much for raising some money for the Yorkshire Ambulance. £4,700 and odd pounds now. Business. Right, that's about it from me and Andy. I was talking about a bar... Yeah, that's not a barbecue. Well, it is a barbecue, Andy, but that's not good you enough. make one out of a barrel. I'm talking about maybe getting a barbecue. I don't know why, though, because in summer we've got, like, no Too time. To do. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it'd be good for our little parties to have a barbecue. Um, Anyway, uh, that's just like come out of randomness yeah. for everybody, hasn't it? But anyway, uh, if you've liked today's video, like it, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends, all that kind of business. And we and Andy will see you tomorrow. Business? Bye.